Ford van Aken and Rosemary Nelson and many, many others. And, you know, for people who are attorneys of law, upholding the state, the laws of the state, and determination to get truth about collusion in this country, including for the murder of Papua New Guinea. What role in the, in the coming months do you believe the Irish government have to play in this? Just want to say well, thank everybody for coming, and it's amazing that 25 years later, on a Sunday night around this time, when the killers entered this street and murdered one of our best loved solicitors, and Pat, you know, we used to visit him on a Sunday night, Father Fall, Father Murray himself, over cases. He never turned us away. He never turned any families. Away. He stood by the families through thick and thin, and that was why he was murdered. Because he was a solicitor that was prepared to take another step further to get to the truth, and he cared for it with his life. So, I mean, I'm delighted with the crowd here, and the family are delighted with the crowd here tonight. And it's amazing that after 25 years, people, you know, think of him, they pray for him, they pray for the family, and they're still willing to come out. We will not forget Pat Finucane and, and as one of the lawyers once said to forget would be the worst offence to his memory and we won't do that so thank you for coming and I know it's cold we don't want to keep anybody longer but thank on behalf of the family thank you very much I'm here as first citizen, uh, as officially invited as Lord Mayor of Belfast to come and stand uh, to express the love of the city for, for Pat Finucan, the high regard in which he was held and the high regard in which his family is held today and, and the support of ordinary citizens for their their wish that uh, we should find the full truth about who killed Pat Finucan, why he was killed and how, and how far up in government uh, the, those responsible uh, stood and stand and, and, and rest today. Uh, I'm also here because, of course, Pat Finnegan was my solicitor. Uh, the night he was uh, murdered, I travelled across the city to the city hospital then to his family home in Lanadoon and uh, I spoke with Cardinal O'Fake, the late Cardinal O'Fake, that night as well. So it was a great blow to all those who believe in the uh, in civil rights, uh, in civil liberties, and great human rights lawyers. It's a great blow to, to all those who, who believe that a lawyer is a fearless representative for, for the underdog. The, the questions will continue to be asked until the truth is known and uh, it would be much better for all of us if those who are hiding the truth were to, were to reveal it. So so we move forward and, and, and I hope we travel forward in hope and optimism, the spirit of Patrick, that fearless, fearless spirit of uncovering the truth, standing up for the vulnerable, stand, standing with the weak, speaking truth to power. That spirit is as strong now or stronger in Belfast than it was in 1989. I'm here for uh, the memory of Pat, I'm here for his family, I'm here to support them in their fight for justice. Uh, Pat was murdered, we all know who murdered him, um, it's now time for the truth to come out. It's, it's great to see other families here who have also suffered, such as the Lachan Island families and, and the McGurk's families. Um, they're still fighting for justice as well and it's sad that all these families um, all these years later are still not being given the truth. That's all they want is the truth so they can mourn their loved ones. Well, I mean, I remember that the, the time it came through on the news. I was in prison at the time. Pat was actually my solicitor um, during my trial. Um, so I would have known Pat. Um, and, you know, I have to say it was a big shock when I heard it on the news that evening that he had been, he had been killed. Um, I think that, that it's, it's, you know, um, it's hard to believe it's 25 years ago, but I know the family go through his loss and, and the, 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 the loss, sense of loss that they have every day. But I think that, that now, you know, I mean, and they have the, only for the family, the campaign wouldn't have been where it was. And I think that, you know, they have to have, you know, be commended for the way they have conducted the whole campaign around trying to get an inquiry into his death. It's very, very clear. That he, he was murdered, and he, he was murdered in term uh, at that, that it went right up to the highest echelons of the British state, um, and I think that that there needs now, particularly the Irish government, need to come forward now, and the, the Irish government need to assure the family that they will do whatever they have to do to make this inquiry happen, because I think that the times pass now for asking for it. We need to see some action. 
it, it, it never ceases to amaze me or surprise me that the British government will only ever concede any sort of progress uh, uh, as a result of pressure, uh, as a result of campaigning and lobbying by our family and our supporters around the world. Um, so we continue to bring that fight to the British government and we ask them basically to give us what they promise us and that is a public inquiry. Do you get a sense that the pressure is becoming unbearable? Well, I, 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 it's not going away. The um, Labour Party have made their position very clear that if they do go back into power, there will be a full public inquiry. I think that David Cameron tried to bury this with a De Silva report, and I think it's backfired because what De Silva really does is act as a springboard. It poses more questions than it answers, and I think people do realise that the truth about Pat Finucane has yet to be told. And what would be your message to the government in the 26 counties? Well, I think they should take the, the refusal of an inquiry to our family as personally as we do. They in, they were part of the Western Park talks. They had to enact a public inquiry in respect of the murders of uh, Constables Breen and Buchanan. They did that. They lived up to their responsibilities. The British government haven't and I think the Irish government should be very angry about that. Well, I knew Pat and different meetings. It was always in the front seat with his files and taking notes and uh, swishing through the gates at Long Cash and through these gates here as well. So he was uh, a familiar figure and uh, I liked him very much and uh, it was a terrible shock of course when he was murdered and since that of course so much has been revealed of collusion over the years, over the years. Uh, some 30 years of conflict and collusion all down. But everybody knows it now, everybody knows it is a fact. The lethal allies, as it's called. But uh, behind security forces, of course, is government. And um, the delay uh, from the Judge Corey, you know, the recommendation delay, 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 stall, stall, stall. And uh, over all those years, 25 years, waiting, 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 and the patience of the Finucane family themselves and Geraldine out there in the front. But uh, there was hope uh, when, uh, when the family visited David Carman, the Prime Minister, and then the great disappointment. Uh, and all the different inquiries down the, down the years, the, the Stalker inquiry, the Stephen Street reports, uh, and why, why don't the public get access to them? It must be behind the scenes, uh, those uh, employees, if you like, who are in government, uh, that they raise such a fear uh, and, 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 and such tension with Cameron that he, he backed down. Well, I think as Father Raymond Murray has just said, and he started off his remarks by saying, what's in a name? And he said, Pat Finucan. And I think that what is in the name of Pat Finucan is the unquenchable thirst for justice and truth in this country. I think that the killing and the murder of Pat Finucan does remain a blight on the landscape of the relations between Britain and Ireland. I do, I do think it epitomises the campaign of collusion which was organised by the British through their forces and with loyalist parliamentary organisations. A collusion which was a policy which was designed to intimidate this whole community, it was to intimidate and to repress people here, it was to use to kill ordinary citizens and injure many others, including myself, and including people like uh, Rosemary Nelson, Pat Finucane. So I do think that this uh, strategy of collusion does continue to have to be exposed. The family of Pat Finucane need the, the truth, need justice. And I think that all credit to uh, Pat's uh, widow uh, Gerling and her family for remaining steadfast against all of the barriers that have been put against them by successive British governments in the last 25 years. So I think that what's in the name of Pat Manoogan is the desire and the hunger and the thirst and the determination to get truth about collusion in this country, including for the murder of Pat Manoogan. What role in the, in the coming months do you believe the Irish government have to play in this? Well, I think we have always made it very clear that the Irish government has a very important role. They are obviously co-guarantors of the Good Friday Agreement. They have uh, joined up with the British government in agreeing a number of inquiries, for example, one of which was uh, for Pat Finucane. That has since and repeatedly been denied by successive British governments. The Irish government has to take a very firm stand on that and do more than uh, make uh, comments in the odd statement. I do think the Irish government has a very, very uh, important role and responsibility in this year. They have to stand by the family families here have to stand by the family of Pat Manugan in particular and I think they have to stand by the families of many others here who have lost loved ones uh, as a result of this conflict particularly where it pertains to issues of collusion and British inspired or British involved uh, murder with the uh, murder gangs of the UDN and UDF.